few weeks ago, I could smell something in the kitchen. I was going, what on earth is that smell? I couldn't figure it out. So I looked in the fridge, moved a few things around, you know, have a look, see. I couldn't find anything. <laughs> I looked under the covers, looked everywhere. So I'm going to have another look in the fridge and see if I can find where that smell is coming from. Hmm? Now, thank you very much for being here. <laughs> right, let's get into it. Wow, I certainly haven't cleaned my fridge up for a while. Okay, this is my fridge. Now, I'll show you a nice little thing you can do that most people don't do. It's put paper towels down. See, these ones need to be replaced. Paper towels are on the shelves. is a great idea because it collects all the spills. If you spill any sauce, any dinners, meals, anything, it goes on the paper towel. And you just take the paper towel and throw it away. Easy. So you don't have to keep cleaning these all the time. Yeah? So this fridge definitely needs to be cleaned again. Hey! Hello everyone! <laughs> Is it cold in there? Looks cold. Hey! Now I'm going to have a look around and see what I can find. Now, I don't have any meats in here or any dinners. But, um, what's this? Oh yeah, got some yogurt here. The lid's on that. No. Can't smell anything. No. Um... Oh, got some hummus up there, some cream cheese, no, nothing there, some olives, and some vegetables in here. Now let's have a look down here. Oh, what's this? Oh, some sweet corn. See, I take the sweet corn out of the can, yeah, and then I put it in a container. This is good because sometimes, like, the cans can rust, yeah, but if you keep them in, in here, it's nice and fresh, and you can see, see? But your cans get buried at the back of the fridge and you don't see the cans. But putting them in containers is a great idea. I had a real nice meal last week. In fact, I should... Mmm, still good. Still fresh. Yes, very important. Fresh it is. Tomatoes. Yep, yeah, here's another idea. If you get any fruit or vegetables, soak it in water, put some vinegar in the water. The vinegar kills all the chemicals that's been sprayed on the vegetables. Yeah. Yeah, and then after that you can rinse them out and then you can start to eat them. You can do that with fruit as well, like apples. Now, um, what's down here? Um, and you can also clean these the same way. <laughs> this almost went up my nose. <laughs> yeah, and carrots. Things like carrots, potatoes, you don't need to because you you've got to peel them. Unless you're going to do the potatoes with the skins. Yeah, okay. I certainly can't find anything, but there's definitely a smell in here somewhere. Is there bread in there? No, bread, yeah. Bread, yogurt. Hmm. Now, I'm looking on top of the fridge, making sure that I didn't leave any food up there. Yep, nothing up there. Sometimes you can, <laughs> when you're cooking, you might have something and you think, oh, I'll put it on top of the fridge and then I'll put it in the fridge later. But you forget all about it. <laughs> and your food just sits on top of the fridge. And goes off. <laughs> yeah, but I'm tall, you see, so I can see above the fridge. Yeah, that's just a little hint. Now, I'm going to have a look at the back of the fridge because all fridges have an area at the bottom that you can open up. Some of them are exposed where they have a tray where the water goes into. When the when the fridge heats up and cools down, heats up. The water that it creates goes through these little tubes and falls into a tray. And the tray sits on the motor, and the motor heats up because the motor's going all the time, evaporates the water, you see. But if those pipes are blocked or the, or the water doesn't evaporate, you've got all this water sitting there going smelly. Yes, and that's where most of the smells come from at the back of the fridge. And most people don't know that because they they don't pull the fridge out and clean it. No. Now, before you pull the fridge away from the back of the wall, make sure you turn it off. Safety first. Okay, it's off. But remember to turn it back on when you put the fridge back. Yes, or your food will all go off. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, this is easy. Okay. So, away from the wall. 
Boom. Send it around. Aha! I'm right! <laughs> There's a tray in the back of the fridge. There you go. This is the back of the fridge. Now most fridges will have a panel that will cover all this, especially the modern day fridges. This one is all exposed. See what I mean? This is the, the tray. And if you look underneath there, you'll see where the water, where the moisture drips down. See down there? It will drip through that. Sometimes that blocks. Right? And the water will fall into here. And the motor, which sits underneath it, heats up. And this is quite warm too. This heats up and it will evaporate the water that sits in here. But if the water isn't evaporating, you'll see it, be it will be floating and it will have mold and all sorts. But mine's clean. It's a bit of dirt in there, but I'll give it a clean, but I can't smell anything. Mm. Mm. <sighs> uh, I'm all baffled now. What am I going to do? Never mind. I'll find that smell sooner or later, but those are good pointers, yes. Bin liners is another thing that could cause smells, especially rubbish bins. Now, I've just cleaned my bin, so I'm going to pick it up, but I will wash my hands after I do this, yes. Now, other smells come from rubbish bins, yes. If you don't clean this part, and you don't clean inside here. That could cause smells as well. Yes. Right. I'll catch you guys later. And thank you very much for watching my show. And I'll catch you guys later. See you. Excuse me. I'm going to wash my hands now. Uh, no, I'm going to wash them in the bathroom.